what is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking Jealousy 4 here bringing you guys more base class setups. Today we're going to be talking about the ASM of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now this SMG guys is being used by every single pro player out there, every single player in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the reason why is because it does have the range, it does have the damage, it does have the quick aiming even without the quick draw. That's why the ASM is super good. It's a lot better than the SN6 because the SN6 does have some kind of a uh, you know damage going on and the rapid fire, but it's not as strong as the ASM. The ASM allows you to just take out enemies right away with less than half of the mag. It's surprising what you can do with the ASM, and I was surprised when I used it a few weeks ago. So lately, I've been getting like 50 plus kills with this class setup that you see right now on your screen, and I've been calling in all my kill streaks. You know the uh, Warbird, Bombing Run, UAV, you know you name it. Except for the Paladin, I still haven't gotten there because I don't camp enough, like how people do it most of the time. And also, by the way, when I try to go to the Paladin, my gun finishes before I get there. And by the way, I don't use the uh, Scavenger because I want to have the the best, you know vision out there without getting disturbed by a system hack and I want to be stealthy so I don't have enough room for um you know for picking up ammo which is scavenger so that's one of the perks explanations so let's start talking about the attachments uh, one of the attachments I would like to talk about guys which is very important is to add the stock attachment this will allow you to take on enemies 1v1 you should be able to check him off Right when they aim at you, you like move to the left and right or right to the left, you know, however you want, however you feel comfortable. If you do this right away and while you're aiming, it's going to throw them off because they're aiming super slow. And you have the stock attachment, so you have to like the right away when you move up like, to the side to side, they have less chances to hit you. So that's why the stock attachment is very important. And by the way, I've been talking about the stock attachment for the longest time, even since Black Ops 2. I've been talking about it like it's better than the foregrip. But this year is, is quite different. Actually, you do really need the foregrip. But back in Black Ops 2, I've been talking about the stock attachment. Nobody used it. I, I've been using the stock attachment on uh, Modern Warfare 3. I don't think it's called stock attachment. I think it was a perk before. I think it was stalker perk. And it works super well with my P90 back in the day. And I'm doing this on the ASM now. The stock attachment reminds me a lot about, about my P90. And by the way, the P90, I used to get like 40 to 60 kills with that gun. Pretty impressive. So... Add the stock attachment, try it out, and I promise you guys you're gonna be able to take out enemies 1v1 real easily. That's uh that's a that's a beginning right there. The next thing you need, guys, will be the foregrip. The foregrip will stabilize your gun. Without it, your bullets are gonna go all over the goddamn place and you're never gonna hit the headshot real easily. If you wanna get the headshot and get a quick kill, aim towards the head, right? But without the foregrip, your bullets are going to go all over the goddamn place from mid and range and you're never going to hit the headshot so you're going to waste more bullets trying to kill someone. So add the foregrip so the bullets can go straight ahead into the headshot or into some certain part of the body so you can kill them real quick. If you don't have the foregrip, as I told you guys, it's going to shake all over the goddamn place. So add that foregrip. Moving on to the next attachment. Now this one, you can actually change it up. But in my personal way, I like to use the laser sight because I like to add a few more accuracy points into the stats kinda it's not about the stats though it's about gameplay wise sometimes I need a little bit of help when aiming I don't know this year is kind of more quicker than the previous Call of Duty so in order for me to keep my eye on the freaking screen like pretty much well I add the laser side I don't know for me it feels more accurate and I can feel like uh, more safer shooting from the hip fire and also the laser side kind of helps you guys out on the hip fire also so that's why I have the laser side so if you want to use the silencer or some other attachment go ahead but I'm using the laser side and this is what's getting me 50 kills per gameplay 50 to 40 kills that's what I've been getting lately with this class setup Moving on to the perks, the perks are low profile, blast suppressor, and hardwired. The low profile and the blast suppressor should keep you off the map pretty much well. The low profile will, ne will not allow the enemy to uh, you know, discover you with the UAV or anything, so it's pretty much important to have because the UAV is being spammed all over the goddamn place. I'm happy to return the UAV from, from Call of Duty Ghost, but you know, you still need to be you know hidden very well so add the, the the low profile perk it's very important you don't really need lightweight you don't really need anything else up there from perk one all you need is low profile so keep your ass stealthy out there so you can get the the, the kills a lot easier and also when it becomes the second half in domination you're not going to be discovered right away when enemies start calling in the uavs so add that low profile the blast suppressor you guys know what it is every time you jump you're not going to be uh you're not going to have a little circle around you on the enemy's map so 
add the blast oppressor is very important to have in every single one of your classes. The hot wire is for you to be prevented by um, from uh, getting system hacked. It's it's really important, guys. I, I promise you it is. Or you can switch it up. I know a lot of people can switch up this this, uh, this perk right here to uh, Heartline or to uh, Scavenger. It's up to you. But in my personal way, I've been using hard wire, Hardwired and I've been getting all my killstreaks like this. So I don't really need Hardline if I'm getting all my killstreaks that easily. Uh, the EXO ability, you guys might want to have one or not. You know, this is up to you. But I use the EXO overclock so I can start off real quick and move on to the B flag as quick as possible. Uh, if not, you guys don't want an EXO ability, you guys can have an EXO launcher or whatever. You know, whatever you want on the uh, EXO, on the EXO and the EXO launcher. But I personally use the EXO overclock. The score streaks too, you can have whatever you want. I personally use the UAV, Warbird, and Bombing Rung on this class because I've been getting all of those in every single one of my gameplays. So that is it, guys. That's the best class setup of the ASM. You guys got any questions or any concerns about the ASM? And if you guys already use this class setup, please let me know in the comments. If it worked for you, also tell me your experience with the uh, with this class setup. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.